Active Low Buy Stable. The symbol for the Active Low Buy Stable uh, can be shown like this. We've got S bar and R bar as the inputs. The bars show that it's Active Low. When these go low, it will set and reset the buy stable. And the outputs are Q and Q bar. We've got a timing diagram to show what's going on here. So we've got both inputs are high at the moment. If we make uh, set go low, this gets us into the set state, which means that Q is going to go high, as shown in the timing diagram, and Q bar is going to go low. Q bar will always be the opposite of Q. S goes high, this gets us into the no change state, so the output stays the same. We're going to make R bar go low, so the reset input goes low, it's going to reset Q low, and Q bar back to being high again get back to the no change state, both inputs are high, the output stays as it was. And then if we make the set input go low again, Q goes high, Q bar goes low as before. Now we're going to look at what's inside this. The active low buy stable can be made by using two NAND gates as shown. We've got the output of the first one goes into the input of the second one, the output of the second one goes into the input of the first one. So let's see what happens when we make S go low. Looking at the truth table, whenever S goes low, it makes Q go high. So we know that Q is going to go high. Looking at the second NAND gate, we've got a 1 from Q, and the reset input is 1 as well. So a 1 and a 1 going in means we've got a naught coming out, so Q bar is low. And if we make uh, the set input go high again, we've got a zero from Q bar coming in here and because we've got the zero from Q bar uh, it means that Q stays high and looking at the second NAND gate both inputs are high which means that the output is low so we've got this feedback here Q bar feeding back into this one means that Q stays high so what happens when we change the reset input to make that low well, when this is low, going into this first um, this NAND gate here, we've got a naught and a 1. Now, whenever one of the inputs is low, the output's going to be high. So this means that Q bar is going to be high. And this feeds back. We've got a 1 and a 1 going into this NAND gate, and the output's going to go low, which means that Q goes low. And just a little check, we've got a 1 and a 1 going into there, the output's low. We've got a low and a low, the output's 1, so it still works. And now we're going to make R go high again. And looking at this, we've got a 1 and a 0, because Q is 0. We've got a 1 and a 0 going into this NAND gate, which means the output's going to stay high. And we've got a 1 and a 1 going into this NAND gate, which means that the output is going to stay low. So there's no change. And finally, we're going to make the set input go low again. So we know that whenever the set input is low, the output's going to be high. So Q goes high. And we've got a 1 and a 1 going into this NAND gate, which means the output goes low.